Hello and welcome. I'm Nefe 42 and this is just a quick video where I'll show you all the things you need to create 3D models in SketchUp. Okay, so if you've ever used SketchUp before, here is just a <laughs> this is just a model that I'm working on for the, for the board game. Don't pay too much attention to it, but um, it, it is very primitive. Uh, primitive, sorry. Let's try and speak proper English, shall we? Um, it's very primitive at the moment. It's quite um, blotchy. Um, but I was kind of going for the low poly look, so hopefully I can work this into some kind of magical uh, artistic form. Um, so what you need to do to find extensions in um, in SketchUp Make 2017 is what I'm using at the moment. This isn't the Pro. Um, I'm using the standard free version because I'm not doing anything like big paid projects or anything like that. This is all just hobbyist stuff, so I, I find that that's it's, it's okay to use that. If you go to Window, then go to Extension Warehouse, it will show you all of the extensions in here. So you have to log in and stuff. I logged in with my um, uh, my uh, Gmail or whatever, uh, my Google account, sorry. And with with that, you can go on here. They've got the the top ten like extensions down here, whatever this is. Um, SketchUp STL, you need that. You need that to be able to export the STL files for for your printer. Uh, once you have that, um, there is one more extension which I would recommend, which is called Solid Inspector. So if you search Solid Inspector, and it's called Solid Inspector Cubed or Squared, sorry squared at the eventually load here we go there it is solid inspector squared um, really good actually it really does help um, find the issues within your models so if you click on this it will show you uh, the bigger version of, of that like full screen or whatever and I've already got it installed so all it says is to uninstall it up here but yeah there's uh, 71,000 users of this mod I've seen other people recommend it, um, and I myself would also recommend this as a tool. You just click up here to install it, install it, and then it will show up in here, and you get this little thing here. It might not appear right here. I think mine appeared on my other screen, <laughs> um, just just kind of randomly in the middle. Um, so that is Solid Inspector. If you wanted to use the STL thing, it is in here now. Export STL. So you can click that and then you can choose to export the current selection. So like if you just had the hat selected, maybe you could just export the hat um, or you could have the entire model se uh, selected uh, by default, which is what I usually have. So that all the time it will always be the full, <laughs> the full picture will be exported. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you this um, solid inspector quickly. That SCL thing, that's quite, it's quite simple to show you how you know you you get things done with that, but on here you click that and it shows up on the other screen. Solid inspector Q, uh, squared, um, surface borders and internal face edges. You can click fix all. Sometimes it does the whole fix, sometimes not. But right now we are actually missing a whole face down here, and that's what the issue is. Uh, and it highlights the areas of of issue on your model as well, which is quite handy. And you can just press that and it'll show you again. A lot of the time that I I go into this, I find that it's just best to kind of delete some faces and then you can kind of work from there and, and figure out where the issue is. <laughs> also, I don't know if any of you guys get this issue, but when you try and move these parts around, I was like, okay, I want to move that here. Oh yeah, that looks good from here. Then you go to this, nah, it's not as bad this time. You when you move it here, and then you go to a different angle and it's just like completely up here. Well, I did that earlier and it happened, so you know, <laughs> it doesn't want to do it this time, but you know, it did happen earlier. There is an internal edge here, as you can see. Oh, but that's supposed to be there. I think that's supposed to be there, actually. Yeah, that's supposed to be there. Uh, so, yeah, to connect these things up, you just kind of just connect them back up. Um, this is how I've pretty much been creating this kind of stuff. There's probably a better way to do this. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm I'm not the greatest of 3D artists. I did the tutorial series on this, but it was quite basic stuff. Um, 
but I mean, I I think that that stuff could have still helped a lot of people out there. So, if you if you are interested in learning SketchUp, do do watch my uh, my tutorials on it because they they should be quite helpful. Uh, even if uh, you know you're a little bit, even if you know your way around a little bit, sometimes it's good to just like watch these tutorials and stuff, just to get better grips to to things that you may have forgotten. And stuff like that. I might need to rewatch my series to be honest, because uh, yeah, I mean it's not too hard to just pick up this program and play to, in 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 all honesty. But yeah, so what I want to do with this now is I want this point here actually to be out a bit further. So we'll move it over here, oh, and it's connected over there. Oh, it's really hard to to do this kind of stuff on free planes, you know. So if we do it like that, yeah, look at that. It's, it's crazy. It's gone crazy. There we go. Okay, that that will do. Actually, that'll be okay. So, no, I want to make sure it's on the point because if you've ever done any kind of 3D design graphics before, um, everything works in freeze. So you need three points to make a face, um, and you need three. <laughs> Now, if it doesn't think that there's three faces there, or there's something in the middle which is going to be in the way, like that, it will expect there to be three faces still, no matter where it's going. So, yeah, it does get a bit complicated sometimes when it comes to this kind of stuff, but on the most part, it's not too bad. So, if we look on here, you can see uh, there is a face... Uh, there's not a face, there's a line that comes up here and one here. Now do we need that one here? Probably not. So this is this is part of the, the 3D printed this is what you guys gotta look forward to for that 3D printed game. I mean if you guys know anyone who can design it better than this, uh get them in contact with me, because that would be great. And uh we could work together, you know. We could make something even better. So that is all connected now over there. We've got this part here, uh, which isn't connected to like anything. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this part here. Because there is, for some reason, no need for that line that was there. And then we'll connect this down to the base again, and voila, now we've got the face. Now we have that face connected, it's all set up. We look on this here and it says we got this we'll try to fix all no it doesn't it's, it's still not happy we've got internal face edges which one's the surface border it's not showing me the surface borders um, I mean you can go into view and then face style x-ray x-ray does sometimes help ah here we go See, it's all on the inside. It's um, uh, okay. So there is actually missing holes on the inside of this, uh, on the inside of this thing. I'm not going to show you the whole detail of this. Um, obviously, there's a lot of just finicky doing stuff on here, <laughs> which is going to take a while. I usually find that sometimes it's easier to just like kind of delete faces and then just re-add them later. So I'll show you that quickly. So we come up here. We go to this tool. You could delete face like this. Like this kind of face isn't too important. Like that. And you can see uh, pretty much straight away where the issue is, which is this part here. Um, so if we open that up again, yeah. What I've done so far is I've created the inside bit and I merged part of it with the uh, with the cape because obviously with the cape where capes are oh, there's a bit here as well oh no that was needed that part was needed sometimes it's hard to tell which parts are and which parts are needed. But part of the cape is actually merged 
with the inside of the person. So, um, yeah, if we if we get rid of these lines here and stuff like that, these aren't needed because they're they're already connected to the inside. Now you can see in here there's a big hole, and that is probably what the issue is. Actually, now it comes to think about it, uh, is. <laughs> It's very, very awkward to use this tool. Uh, not this tool, but this this tool makes it a hell of a lot easier to find these issues, which would m normally break the uh, the end process. So if we do that, we go onto here, and it, it says we've got two reverse faces and fourteen internal faces. So we'll fix that. Pow! Solid inf inspector, no issues found. There we go. So sometimes there could be just like one issue that's causing a lot of issues. So that is about it for today. Uh, it's actually been a bit longer than I expected, to be fair, but there we go. You can see me messing about with the model, and hopefully, hopefully, it prints okay. We'll find out later on today, and maybe you have already found out uh, like a week or so ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, that's at Nathan42, and thanks for watching.